Welcome back to All Indiana. Well, 2020 Emmy nominations are in. Leslie Jones hosted the virtual presentation. HBO's Watchmen led the pack with a whopping 26 nominations, followed by The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel with 20, and Ozark, a lot of people are big fans of that show, earned 18. Netflix received a total of 160 noms, beating all other networks. Now, the show is set to take place on September 20th, hosted by Jimmy Kimmel. It's yet to be announced if it's going to be a virtual show or with attendance and social distanced so we'll keep you posted coolest nominations go to Octavia Spencer for the Madam CJ Walker Netflix miniseries and Brad Pitt who earned a nom in guest category for portraying Dr. Anthony Fauci during an SNL cold open that has gotten 13 million views over on YouTube since it debuted about three months ago so good well if you're looking for a new show to watch Oprah Winfrey she's launching a new program on Apple TV plus it's called the Oprah conversation now the series will feature conversations and interviews between Oprah and a range of leaders, artists, and influencers. The debut episode is titled How to Be an Anti-Racist and starts on Apple TV Plus this Thursday. Well, Joe Jonas and Sophie Turner welcomed their first baby into the world, a beautiful little girl named Willa, and they just released a statement saying they're over the moon and cannot stop gloating about their new addition. Congratulations. More baby news. Celebrity couple Sierra and Russell Wilson have a new baby boy. Wilson tweeted that when... Harrison Wilson it came into the world at eight pounds and one ounce. Sierra posted a beautiful photo on Instagram of their entire family together, adding welcome home win. Very sweet. Well, even in the entertainment world, there's no escaping the pandemic. Here's David Daniel with today's Hollywood Minute. All I have for you is a word. Tenet. Tenet will open in theaters this summer after all, just under the wire. Warner Brothers announced the time-twisting thriller from Christopher Nolan will debut on August 26th in 70 overseas territories where theaters are reopening. Then, Tenet will premiere in select U.S. theaters on September 3rd, just before Labor Day weekend. Hopefully, it reminds people of what power can do to an individual, to uh, a nation, to a world. Filmmaker Adam McKay took on the mortgage crisis in The Big Short and politics in Vice. Now he's tackling the search for a COVID-19 vaccine. McKay is executive producing a limited series for HBO based on Brendan Burrell's upcoming nonfiction book, The First Shot, about the global race to develop a vaccine for the coronavirus. Katy Perry has good news and bad news for her fans. Bad news first, right? The singer revealed on Twitter that due to unavoidable production delays, her upcoming album Smile will arrive August 28th, two weeks later than scheduled. The good news? Perry, who's pregnant, is launching Smile Sundays, weekly live streams of banter, music, and more, which Perry says she'll do until either the album drops or the baby arrives. In Hollywood, I'm David Daniel. Thanks so much, David. Well, it looks like we're going to have to wait a little longer to see the sequel to Top Gun. The release date has been pushed back to July 2nd, 2021. So Top Gun Maverick was originally supposed to be in theaters last month, but got pushed back to December. Now it will be released next year. And Demi Lovato cannot stop gushing about her engagement to Max Eric. She took to social media saying, best night of my life, still soaking it all up. Love you, baby. Like Beyonce says, if you like it, you better put a ring on it. So he did. And quite a ring you guys check that out can't miss it pretty beautiful humongous right there. <laughs> pretty ginormous i would you say know, she's been through so much and she's been vulnerable and open about it good mm -hmm. for her that it's nice to see her at peace i just want to know I, I read somewhere that ring cost like two million dollars or something mm -hmm. like that mm -hmm. and um who is the guy <laughs> what, Max. What, he's wondering he why he's well. got a big name well, well, no, I, mean, I, I mean the guy goes out and buys a two million dollar ring what am oh. i doing wrong here okay what else are you doing wrong? <laughs> i'm like who Mike, is this guy does that make you sweat like if you were to purchase another ring when you see oh, all never. these no, no. That, that's that wind that ship is sailing <laughs> <laughs> the money's coming to me now. That's right. <laughs> it's All going right. into the Me Foundation. I'm sorry, everybody. Right. The Me Foundation. <laughs> That's Thanks, McKenzie. You got All it. Right. Hey, an artist has. Uh,